Ow. Oh, I just pinched my eyelid. Wow. Oh, I love the little highlight on my nose. So let's see how this goes because I don't think it's going to go well, but we can try. Hi friends, welcome back to another Mina Monday. This week's video is actually a get ready with me. So this is the final result, but I guess we're just going to go right on into what I looked like at the beginning of the day and see how I got ready for my two year anniversary date with my boyfriend. But yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you think down below. And I hope you enjoy this week's video. And yeah, I am not a makeup guru or beauty guru, but I will do my best to look decent and do makeup somewhat well. So let's just get right on into it. I'm starting off with my everyday moisturizer, more mo moist, <laughs> with my everyday lotion. Okay, my everyday face lotion. I can't say it correctly. So, so I'm doing. Um, usually I will put sunblock on like when I'm going outside, but I won't be going outside except for when we're going out to dinner and it'll already be dark by then. So I am not going to be putting on sunblock on my face today. So if I'm being honest, I don't typically put on face makeup, or at least I haven't lately, but I think I'm going to use some of my Glossier Future Dew. I honestly haven't used this like in a long time since I bought it with my and like showed it in my Glossier unboxing. Um, but I think I'll do that today. So now I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. I use the Chanel um, eyeshadow palette. And this is actually from my mom. So she used it before and you can see she used her favorite color um, but I use this brown right here to fill in my eyebrows with this brush so we're gonna do that and then I also later on add in um, the Glossier boy brow to keep the shape so I guess this is also be like a little bit of a chatty get ready with me I not sure what to say Basically, my boyfriend and I have been dating for two years and we both went to a camp over the summer between our junior and senior year of high school and that's when my boyfriend first kind of saw me because even though we were going to the same high school in like a kind of small town, it was still relatively big so we never saw each other. And then we finally got to, that's when he finally saw me, I guess, and he was like, oh my goodness, like he had a crush on me. and. He wanted to talk with me, but he was too nervous to, so we never actually talked, really. And then we ended up having AP Statistics together our senior year of high school. And he finally started to work up the nerve to try and talk with me. So he asked our mutual friend to kind of help him get in contact with me. So our mutual friend, Josh texted me one night when I was about to go to a concert. It was actually the night of homecoming, but one of my best friends, Callie, and I had decided that we wanted to go to this concert. And we had decided that like in February, so during junior year. And usually our high school had homecoming on like Halloween weekend. And it was usually on my other friend's birthday. So we all assumed it was gonna be like the last weekend essentially of October. But for some reason, that year, our school decided to do homecoming the second to last week of October. And so because my friend Callie and I were banking on the concert being when homecoming wasn't going to be, um, we ended up missing homecoming. But that's okay, because we still had a really fun night. But yeah, so that night, Josh texted me and he said, hey, text these four guys. The bread has been split or the bread is spilt. Split? The bread is... Um, Luke and I still, Luke's my boyfriend, we still argue about this. I think it was like the bread has been split or something like that. I don't really know, but Josh told me to text Luke, um, and then three other guys that like I kind of knew. And so I texted all of them that and they all ignored me because that's what Josh told them to do was to ignore my text. And then Luke responded to me. And he said something, but I was at the concert. So I didn't say anything because I wasn't on my phone 
but like and I didn't like respond to him for like three or four hours because I was at the concert and I didn't really know what was going on and he had like responded somewhat late to my text I like texted him but it was like late when I was done with the concert and then he started texting me again the next morning and he just continued the conversation and we pretty much just talked from there and yeah there's a lot more to the story than we like eventually how we like got our first date and everything but I think that I'll say that for another time now I'll be using the cloud paint from Glossier I really really love this color I honestly don't use it very much this is the puff color I'm very strange in that if I like something a lot I don't want to use it does that make sense like if I think something is really nice like if I get cute stickers if I have like Luke he got me this for Christmas last year this lush rose jam perfume which I love lush like I love the scent of the rose jam things and I really just love it so much that I don't use it which is really bad it's a really bad habit um, because I just want to be able to have it forever essentially and so I use almost no makeup that I like I use almost none of my stickers which is ridiculous because the reason I buy them is so I can use them but I just think that they're so cute that I don't want to use them sorry I had to get that artsy shot for you guys um so that this isn't boring I feel like I never put the Glossier puff oh no <laughs> I feel like I never put the Glossier puff paint on correctly um, like I feel like, oh, like it's too light and then I get, um, I don't know. I just feel like I never do it right. Now I need to actually do the hard part, which is my eyes. I am so lazy about taking makeup off at night that I don't wear mascara anymore, which I love mascara. Like it's so nice. It makes your eyelashes pretty. Also, my eyelashes are really short and stubby, so... It doesn't make my eyelashes pretty, but it makes everyone else's eyelashes really pretty. And yeah, I think that I just wore so much mascara. Like I really coated it so thickly um, when I was in high school that I might have just made my eyelashes short and now they won't curl really. Um, so I'm gonna be wearing fake lashes essentially. Also, I know my posture is really bad, but my mirror is like down here. I have you guys propped up on what my mirror is usually on. Maybe I should prop this up. I'm gonna be using it. Well, okay, I can do that. Um, also, eyelash curlers scare me. Because I've heard the horror stories of, ow, oh, I just pinched my eyelid. That's also why I don't like these. But because I've heard girls ripping out their like eyelashes and not just like a couple, but like the whole thing. And that really terrifies me because I don't have anything that I can spare. So I honestly do all this as rarely as I can, but I do love a good excuse to dress up. There's probably no difference at all for you guys, but I do see a little bit of a difference. Um, oh, I forgot I can just tilt this mirror up. Okay, so my roommate, Izzy, actually had to teach me how to put on fake lashes because she is a queen at doing her makeup and her hair. Like, it's always amazing. Um, and so she actually made a video for me. So. I'm probably not going to explain this very well, and if you need help, watch her video. Um, I'll link it in the description because I don't know how to explain things like this and I'm not good at it, but she's very good at it. It's called How to Put on Fake Lashes for Mina. I think that's what it's called. So yes. Sometimes I just also have to stop. I think I get too carried away when I'm trying to put on mascara that I'd mess it up. I think I just literally just need to be like one, two, stop. Because wait, that actually looks good. Also, question. My roommates and I have talked about this actually. Um, I think it's like when you do your mascara and when you do your eyebrows, do you switch hands or do you switch hands to do the left and the right side of your face or do you use the same hand? I always use my right hand no matter what. I just kind of change it. I feel like I don't have enough control over this hand, but my roommates, some of them will switch hands. So comment down below, which one are you? Do you switch or do you stick with the same one? Oh yeah, I also forgot to say, I am using the Tarte Lights Camera in Action Mascara. I should have done my <laughs> eyeshadow first. That's what you're supposed to do. So this is like my one true eyeshadow palette. Okay, I know it's probably gross, but I think I've literally had this since like sophomore year of high school. 
that's like four years guys but uh, it's my tried and true like she really just like i remember i saw her at ulta one day and i was like i'm gonna get her and i came back the next day because i take sometimes a long time to think about certain purchases and i got her and i still love her i still use her um it is the don't quit your daydream tarte palette i really like tarte um i also don't know much about them so if there's something i should know please let me know um but yeah look at all these nude tones like that is so pretty and there's some shimmer there i don't know i i love it a lot i'm first starting off by taking the visionary and putting it on my just on my um lid so that's this one right here the semi nude one but i actually might do strive more around the area because that's kind of the pink one so it's this one right here um it's kind of it looks a little bit more red on camera but it does come out a little bit more pink on the eyelid because i am kind of doing more of a pink look but i don't want to go too intense because i am going for a more soft look <gasps> no oh no okay also, this is the Shine On. It's actually the highlighter part of the palette that I like to put on the inner corners of my eyes. This is something I've seen um, Mia Stammer, Mama Mia Makeup, do a lot. I know she doesn't really focus on makeup anymore, but this was like when I first kind of heard about it. Um. Okay. I know people do this. They Okay, this is not the right thing. <laughs> I know that people will do like a crease kind of. So I think I will try and do that. Can you guys even see if I look like different or better with the makeup? Let's see. I'm going to bring yours closer. So I'm going to use now. Okay. I'll use some of the love, which is right here. I'll use that to kind of do a crease. And if it isn't enough, then I might do one of the darker shades. I mean, sometimes I can't tell if there's actually a difference or not. Um, because it is so subtle, but that is what is I like. I don't want it to be intense because I don't know how to do it correctly if it's intense. And then I'm going to use the Shine On highlighter right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, also in high school, I mean, I know my mom told me this, but I really did not listen to her. Wow. While wow, she is popping. Um, I would just put thick layer foundation on my face my skin wasn't that great um and i was not confident about it so i literally just went bloop, and did a thick layer foundation there's honestly no color in my face like i didn't put a highlighter i put powder to set it but like wow um i didn't put blush I didn't put highlighter um that is way too intense isn't it wow my face honestly looked flat like I have my driver's license photo and it makes my face look like a pancake. Then I'm not even joking. Like I look like a pancake because my face is just flat. And I had put on so much mascara. I used to honestly think like I was like naked if I wasn't wearing mascara. Like which is crazy. Like, like why would I feel that way? Like I am who I am and I look the way I look. It's okay not to always wear makeup. Like and I would be like I would if I was running out of time I do my mascara in the car or like on the bus which is honestly dangerous like what if I poked my eye you know I don't know um my mom tried to help me I wasn't listening but I wish I did because maybe I could have helped myself a little bit honestly if I had just watched more um makeup videos maybe I would have been a little bit better I don't know oh I love the little highlight on my nose and actually, this is my roommate's eyeliner. She has, like, I guess she has a couple, so she said I could have this one for now. Thank you so much for saving me. She is my makeup goddess, essentially. She is my guardian angel when it comes to makeup. So this is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day. So let's see how this goes, because I don't think it's going to go well, but we can try. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna clean that up. Um, sorry, I'm not gonna make you guys sit through this. So now that my eyeliner is very poorly done, but it's okay because it's going to be covered up, I am putting on the Duo 
eyelash glue on my eyelashes. Not these eyelashes, but my fake ones. But yeah, my roommate had to help me with these because I'm just so bad at makeup. See, like she had to trim them because they're typically like this long. Can you see? Yeah. So we trimmed off a little bit of the length and we're gonna put them on. Okay, and then you let that sit for a little bit, not too long, but just a little bit to let it start to get a bit tacky. You wanna wiggle both of them around a little bit so that the glue doesn't get it to be all stiff. on do these look even and now i just need to fill in the spots where it's not going all the way okay i finally did it i think i don't really feel like i look like myself but i don't know it's a fun look um are these too intense i don't know i'm just not used to seeing myself with fake lashes but now i am putting on the glossier cherrybomb.com I really like this because in the winter time my lips get really chapped here but this is perfect because it's like both a lip balm and tint okay now that I have finished my makeup I am going to put on my outfit and do my hair and then we'll be ready for the date so yeah that's so exciting so I decided to wear this this is the two-piece set that I got when I was thrifting. Uh, if you saw my big thrift with me video, this was one of my most successful thrifts, and I think it's really cute and dainty. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited about this. <laughs> now I am all ready. I decided that I'd be wearing my um, normal studs that I always wear for my second piercings, and then these adorable earrings that my roommate got me for my half birthday. They have koi fish on them, but they're just so dainty and cute. I thought they would go with this little elegant dress. I'm wearing this necklace that my boyfriend bought me for our one-year anniversary. And then this necklace that my mom gave me. So, yeah, it's very cute and dainty. And then this ring my mom gave me. And then also um, my promise ring with my boyfriend. And um, a ring that my mom got me as well. But yeah, so now I'm all ready. And let's just go on the date now. <laughs> Really quickly, I wanted to document the gifts I got him. So I got him this custom wallet as well as this custom mug. He really enjoys D&D and I thought this would be something cool that he would enjoy as well. Now here are some blurry clips to document our wonderful date night. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Please be sure to let me know what else you'd like to see and if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Ooh.